Each year, the city of Lawrence spends millions of dollars to repair, resurface, and maintain Lawrence's roadways. The funding for street maintenance comes from both the use of property tax and sales taxes collected in Lawrence. In a recent citizen survey, residents responded that street maintenance is the top priority for our community, and the city is responding accordingly. How does the city maintain Lawrence's roads? There are five primary means the city uses to address road maintenance. Crack sealing, curb replacement, microsurfacing, concrete rehabilitation, and mill and overlay. The city also uses funding from other sources, including the Kansas Department of Transportation, to resurface roads in Lawrence. In 2008, voters approved a 0.55% sales tax that is dedicated to infrastructure and public transit. The Castled Street Reconstruction Project between 23rd Street and 31st Street is the first complete reconstruction project to be funded by this sales tax. The city has used these funds for other street maintenance projects and will continue to utilize this funding to address roadway concerns in Lawrence. The most widely used method of maintaining our streets is called crack sealing. Crack sealing is a key preventative maintenance technique where small cracks are filled with a rubberized asphalt product creating a thick, snake-like line on the street. Sealing the cracks prevents water from getting into the street and causing potholes. Approximately 110 lane miles are crack sealed in Lawrence each year. Another method that is used by the City of Lawrence Public Works Department is a process called microsurfacing. Microsurfacing is a preventative street sealing technique that uses a pre-mixed slurry of rock, polymer, and asphalt binders, cement, and filler materials to seal the entire roadway at a depth of about 3 eighths of an inch. It is applied over the top of the pavement. Approximately 25 lane miles in Lawrence are microsurfaced each year. Microsurfacing is very cost effective when compared to mill and overlay. Microsurfacing costs between $3 to $4 per square yard when patching is included in the project versus $14 per square yard to mill and overlay. Mill and overlay processes remove the top two to three inches of pavement and replaces it with a new hot mix asphalt. The milling removes the old deteriorated pavement surface and creates a rough surface for the new pavement to bond with the old pavement. A mill and overlay project can extend the life of a roadway by 10 to 15 years before needing to be reconstructed. Typically, when performing a mill and overlay, crews will also work to patch the roadway's base to make sure the underlying structure is in good condition. Once patching is complete, the asphalt overlay is applied and maintenance work is completed. It is not unusual to see curbs and gutters replaced in areas where the mill and overlay is being completed. The city plans to replace approximately 25 lane miles of roadway through mill and overlay each year. Replacement of curbs and gutters is when crews remove a deteriorated curb and replace it with a new curb or gutter. This can improve drainage in an area and lessen future roadway problems. If you have a damaged or deteriorating curb in your neighborhood, contact the Street Maintenance Division at 785-832-3031 or notify city staff of the problem. In a typical year, the city will replace approximately 8 miles of curb and gutter for any community that experiences the freeze and thaw cycles in the winter like Lawrence does. Potholes are formed when the pavement is damaged and fails. The failure in pavement causes the materials to crumble and create a void in the pavement. Pothole patching is considered preventative maintenance. Citizens can report a pothole by calling 785-832-3456 or go online to lawrenceks.org. Providing as much information as possible, such as the location and size, can help crews locate the pothole and patch it quicker. The city sets a goal of treating potholes within 48 hours of a report. In 2010, the city purchased a pothole patching injection machine that speeds up the process and patches and allows the city to use hot mix asphalt instead of cold mix asphalt. Hot mix asphalt tends to hold up better in winter weather conditions and speeds up the process of patching. Depending on how severe the winter weather is, the city can patch anywhere between 12,000 and 18,000 potholes a year. Lastly, the city is concerned with responding to priorities in a proactive manner, not just reacting to current conditions. Since 2005, the city has used a tool called a Pavement Management Index to analyze, rate, and determine the condition of Lawrence's 805 lane miles. Once the pavement is analyzed, city engineers determine what street should be placed on the upcoming year's street maintenance plan and address it with one of the methods discussed. Since beginning the Pavement Condition Index, the city has seen a slight increase in the overall condition of Lawrence's roads.
The city sets a goal to update the condition of 25% of Lawrence's streets each year, and every four years, the overall PCI data is updated to show trends in Lawrence's efforts to create safer, better maintained roadways in Lawrence. To the city of Lawrence, street maintenance is a top priority, and we encourage feedback and comments on how we're doing, what we can improve on, and how we can address the needs of our community. For more information, visit lawrenceks.org.